you are a ghost hunter as well as an author. He can't hunt what doesn't exist. We think we have one that does. Florence Cathcart, played by Rebecca Hall, um, is a is a skeptic in the of the supernatural. She's called to a school in Cumbria by Robert Mallory, who is a teacher at the school, and children have been seeing a ghost appear at the school. Her belief system begins to unravel. That is where things get become a big adventure and a big journey, and it's one that is rooted in this idea of loss and grief being something to do with why we see them, rather than just this is a world ghosts exist. Boo. I googled and read about Edison and sound waves and it didn't help in the least bit because Nick Murphy made up every single bit. It's all utter rubbish. <laughs> There's no such thing as a Marconi magnetic field detector. And I looked so hard to try and find one. <laughs> Rebecca, I, I, I had Rebecca in mind, yeah, on when I was writing her. What I admired about her was her intelligence, very hard to fake intelligence, and her willingness to put that intelligence aside and just be intuitive about a performance when necessary, and that's very rare. Often you can get actors that break a performance and snap it by overthinking. And, and she was beautiful. I mean, there's no small thing. I, I sort of fell in love with Florence before she looked like Rebecca Hall, and for her to end up looking like Rebecca Hall has not done anything for my crush. You know? I used to watch a, a black and white film called The Ghost of Mrs. Muir, which is actually a kind of romance, um, which I loved. And then as I got a little bit older, I became obsessed with the more scary ones like uh, The Shining and Rosemary's Baby and Don't Look Now. It made me realise that playing fear and running around by yourself and, and screaming is not straightforward. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be any less than playing a kind of a great scene between two people that's based on you know, intelligent prose in a play or something. There is, there is, there is very specific challenges which are very interesting and he nails it. Oh God! Well, it was very important the atmosphere was earned in the film. We'd set out not to use any gothic, not to use any lightning, not to use the, sort of the tropes of and those traditions. There are, there are tropes and traditions of the, of the genre in the film and I think they have to be, and it really should be. You can't just start throwing everything out with the bathwater. But no, the, the essential one was that we, we didn't go down the cheap route of we're going to have some lightning and dark and darkness. There's almost no darkness in the film, for example. My favourite film, Full Stop, of all time, you can't make me, there are so many good films in the world, you can't make me limit it down to one. I, if I had to pull them off, it's all about mood, isn't it? But if I had to pull them off the shelf, I'd say Les Enfants de Paradis, um, The Godfather, Brief Encounter. I think A Prophet is now competing for it, actually, as a, as a, as, as a recent edition. Uh, double Indemnity. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love Barbara Stanwyck. I love Billy Wilder. I love all those films. I love noir films. Um, yeah, it would be Double Indemnity, or All About Eve, or A Star Is Born, <laughs> with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. <laughs> <laughs>